Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about Java program to print the reverse of a given number. We already know that how to print the reverse of a given number. Suppose the given number n is 1234. For that number, we have to print the reverse of the given number. The reverse of the given number is 4321. That means every digit in that number can be printed in reverse order. So then we are getting the reverse of a given number. So how to write this program in Java? First, the given number can be read from the keyboard by using scanner class. So scanner class is used for reading the input from the keyboard. For that purpose, we have to use import statement. So by using import statement, we have to import util package. In that util package, we have to import scanner class. So by using this statement, we have to import the scanner class from the util package by using import statement. Next one, we have to create one class. Class name is a reverse. Next, we can go for the main method. The main method is public static void main string arguments. So every Java program execution starts with a main method. So this line represents the main method. Next, we have to create the object for scanner class. Scanner sc is equal to new scanner system dot in. So by using this line, we have to create the object sc for the scanner class. Here scanner is the class, sc is the object reference, new operator is used for allocating the memory for the object sc. Next one, scanner within the parenthesis system.in is the constructor and system.in is used for reading the input from the keyboard. So this is the meaning of this line. So next we have to read n value from the keyboard int n is equal to sc dot next int. So before going to that we have to write one printf statement system dot out dot println. Let me enter n value. After entering n value, n value can be read from the keyboard by using scanner class. Next, system dot out dot println enter n value. So first we have to declare variable n and int n is equal to sc dot next int. So here whatever the n value that are entered from the keyboard that value can be taken as a string value. That string value can be converted into integer by using next int method. This method is available in the scanner class to access that method by using the object sc. So sc dot next int method is used for converting the 
given n value that are entered from the keyboard that value can be taken as a string that string value can be converted into integer after converting that value can be assigned to the variable n next one while n not equal to 0 int rgv is equal to n modulus operator 10 so i am taking this variable as r next one int rgv is equal to rgv into 10 plus r next one n is equal to n by 10 so initially here int rgv is equal to 0 initially rgv value contains 0 next one here r value is nothing but reminder okay initially rgv value contains 0 and n value initially contains whatever the number that are entered from the keyboard so now while loop is closed then we have to print the system dot out dot println reverse of the given number is reverse of given number is plus rev finally the reverse of the given number is stored in variable rev now we have to print that rev value so main method close and class is closed okay so now we have to save this program reverse dot java yes now we have to compile the program so java c reverse dot java yes it is a successfully compiled now we have to run the program java reverse enter n value i am giving n value is 1234 reverse of given number is 4321 again i am running the program java reverse enter n value is 3467 so reverse of the given number is 7643 so in this way we have to execute our program now what is the logic behind here right. so first i am giving n value is equal to 1234 okay so now here 1234 not equal to 0 so condition true if this condition is true then the control goes to the body of the while loop and execute this three statements so here first r value we are getting as 1234 modulus operator 10 so what is the value we are getting 1234 is divided with 10 so what is the remainder value we are getting that is 4 next line here rgv is equal to rgv into 10 initially rgv value is 0 0 into 10 plus what is r value we are getting in the previous line so that is 4 so 0 into 10 plus 4 is equal to 4 next one what is n value we are getting n is equal to n by 10 that is 1234 divided by 10 we are getting 123 so after completing the first iteration what are the values we are getting 
R value is equal to 4 and R EV value we are getting also 4 and N value we are getting 123. Again we have to check the condition. So finally we are getting N value is 123 in the previous iteration. Now we have to check again 123 not equal to 0. So 123 not equal to 0 condition true. If the condition is true then again control goes to the body of the while loop and execute the statement within the while loop. First R is equal to N modulus operator 10. So now in this case what is N value? N value is 123. So 123 modulus operator 10. So 123 can be divided with 10. What is the remainder value we are getting? Remainder value is 3 we are getting. Next REV is equal to REV into 10 plus R. In the previous iteration REV value is a 4. So 4 into 10 plus R value in the above line we are getting that is a 3. 4 into 10 plus 3 that is equal to 43. Next one n is equal to n by 10, n value now 123, so 123 divided by 10, so we are getting 12. So after completing the second iteration, what are the values we are getting? R value is 3, REV value is 43, n value is 12. Again we have to check the condition, so n value is 12. Now 12 not equal to 0. Condition true. If this condition is true, the control goes to the body of the while loop and execute these three statements. R is equal to N modulus operator 10. What is N value here? N value is 12. So 12 modulus operator 10. 12 can be divided with 10. What is the remainder value we are getting? That is 2. Next one, REV is equal to REV into 10 plus R. What is the REV value in the previous iteration? That is the 43. Now, REV into 10. So, 43 into 10 plus R. What is the R value we are getting in the above line? That is a 2. 43 into 10 plus 2, we are getting 432. Next one, N is equal to N by 10. N value 12. 12 by 10. 12 by 10 we are getting only 1. After completing the third iteration, what are the values we are getting? R value 2, RGV value 432, N value is 1. Again we have to check the condition. So N value is 1, 1 not equal to 3, 1 not equal to 0. Condition true. If this condition is true, then the control goes to the body of the while loop and execute the statements within the while loop. R is equal to N modulus operator 10. What is N value here? 1. So 1 modulus operator 10. So 10 can be divided with 1. What is the result we are getting? That is 1. Next one. REV is equal to REV into 10 plus R. Previous iteration what is REV value? 432. Now REV into 10 means 432 into 10 plus what is R value we are getting in the above line 1. So 432 into 10 plus 1 is 4321. Next one N is equal to N by 10. N value 1. So that is 1 by 10. 1 by 10 is nothing but 0. Again we have to check this condition. So here N value 0. So 0 not equal to 0. That is false. So when the condition is false, the control goes to the statement after the while loop. So here the while loop starts here, here the while loop ends here. The next statement is system dot out dot println reverse of given number is plus REV. Finally, in the REV, what is the value is there? That is 4321. So given number is 1234. Finally, we are getting REV value is 4321. So, this is the explanation of logic of reverse of a given number. Now, this is the program and that is the logic.
Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button after subscribing my YouTube channel, Dibbala Srinivas Rao. And please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.